gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, oh yeah, let me tell you something, Casey, Jojo doing LTD's love ballad. Have never been so much taking your way back in love before. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, we're back. Second video this morning because we're going to combination this video. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when you guys go over this video, especially those of you who are part of our programs, you're going to understand things a little bit better. That's the first thing we need to tell you. All right? And so, right. Now, we've been doing some crypto trading. And there was this one company that was sued by the SEC as they were merging with another company. And they haven't returned our funds. Ladies and gentlemen, there is $887,000. Not 880 uh No, no, I'm sorry. It's more than that. Uh, give me a second. I forgot what the total amount is. There's $887 left in the account, but, you know, the total, let's see if we can get the uh, total. Uh, let's see. Nope, I can't add up to it. I think it's like, well, that's 110 right there. Oh, I think it's like $560,000. Okay, but I want y'all to pay attention to something so that y'all understand. This is my accounting. This is what I get to write off on my taxes as a loss. Do you understand? It really is that simple. What a difference. Okay. Now, that's one thing that I wanted to share with you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the end of the year. Now, I want you to pay attention to what I just showed you. These are funds that were supposed to be received. They have not been received. They have not been realized, but hold on. This is the accounting ledger saying that it has been realized. This is the accrual method. These are all expenses, net operating losses. This is money that has not been received. Pay attention. So I get to write this junk off, and so do you. That's how we balance the budget when you understand what you're doing. Just understand that they have the language models. Let's do that. I, I wasn't planning on doing this, but hold on a second. We're going to do that. Okay? And Casey and JoJo, we're going to pause y'all for a second. And, and I love me some love ballot. Jeffrey Osborne, I uh, have a lot of respect for that man. I don't know nothing about no Jeffrey Osborne. Don't know his history. Don't know nothing. I just know that fool can sing. So y'all hold on a second, okay? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's going on 10 o'clock. I got work to do today, so we're going to try to get this done for you as quick as possible. This is BARD. I've got my activity turned off on BARD. Google's upset at it. That's why you can't click on the link underneath these videos, because Google has blocked the link saying that <laughs> they can't um, track me and trace me and verify me. So F Google and YouTube. And, oh, frankincense is what F stands for. Okay, frankincense. Okay, anyway, Farfik Nugan, if you, if you need a uh, German. Farfik Nugan, Google. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, by turning that off, man. Now, I want y'all to know, I was talking about LTD. And so, because some of y'all, y'all need to be taken back. Okay, because when I was talking about LTD, I was thinking about Love Ballot, Shine On, and... What is it? Uh, Stranger. Those are the three songs. And then I started thinking about all the other songs by Jeffrey Osborne. And, and, and he's going to talk about concentrating. I'd love to remember. It helps him through, you ladies and gentlemen. Because he spends hours away. I don't know how he does it either, y'all. He says ain't nothing to it but to do it. 
the thoughts are gentle because it's of her. It, it makes it worth going through. You see how they just changed up the beat? And they saying they want y'all to understand what he's talking about. Concentrate on you. Ah! Sorry. That's Concentrate on You, ladies and gentlemen. And that's the song that came to my mind. And I just have to do me some Concentrate on You. So if you haven't listened to Concentrate on You, LTD, Jeffrey Osborne, go listen to Concentrate on You. You can find it on YouTube. I'm positive you'll love the song if you haven't heard it before. All right, Jeff, we're going to pause you. We're going to pause you for a second because we have to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, watch what I ask. Give me one second. I have $560,000 in unrealized investment revenue as a result of research and development into cryptocurrency, period. According to IRS tax topic 453, comma, that can be located at irs.gov, comma, I should be able to write off the $560,000 as business losses and or business bad debt. Comma, but I don't know how to do that. Comma, could you help me to understand why I get to write this off as a business bad debt and how it might be possible to write it off? Period. Could you include the essential forms that are necessary for writing off the bad debt? Question mark. Thank you for your assistance. Stop listening. Wake up. For writing off the bad debt. Write off obtain the credit. For this write off, write off assistance. Assistance. Stop listening. I have too many Bluetooths connected to the computer, and that's what's causing some of the problems. One second. Let's see what this moron has to say. I didn't ask you for advice. So, the first thing he says, he can't advise me.
wake up. And please note, comma, I'm not asking you for any tax advice, comma, I'm asking you for the policies and procedures associated with the aforementioned situation, period. To give me advice would violate your programming directives, comma, so I was very careful not to ask for advice, comma, but to ask for the specific policies and procedures of the IRC and the IRS, comma, which is why I mentioned irs.gov, exclamation mark. Stop listening. Stop listening. All right. You see, I don't want his advice. Okay. Now, again, as you mentioned, IRS Tax Topic Resource Database, however, it is important to understand the importance of blah, 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 blah. Okay. But he tells me forms and procedures. If you believe you have a valid bad debt deduction, you might need to follow Form 3340. Application for tax benefits from an activity not for profit. However, consulting blah, 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 blah. Now, I want to do this so that you guys will understand. Sometimes he responds, and his response is not what I want. See, this ain't even detailed. He even gives a disclaimer. So what we're going to do is we're going to Roll, roll, rotate your boat gently down the stream. Anyway, we're going to rotate it again. Key considerations. He tells me about the consideration. Oh, look at that. He doesn't mention no 30, 40, blah, 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 blah this time. He mentions actually the right forms this time, the Schedule C. Now, if you claim the loss of a security, including cryptocurrency, you might need to file 6484. If you claim the loss of a security, hey, that might be something for some of y'all to look up, you know, claiming the loss of a security. Hoo-wee! A lot of information, especially when somebody just, wait, hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on. Not there. Oh, not that one. Sorry. Wrong page. Especially when somebody just talked about that partnership video. Hoo-wee! A lot of information right here. So we're going to let him talk. Because y'all need to hear it. I don't want to hear nobody, no Al-Qaeda or nothing like that. Get on out of here. Hold on now. Here he comes. And I'm going to concentrate. You're correct in referencing IRS Topic 453. However, your situation regarding unrealized investment revenue in crypto research and development requires careful consideration before careful. claiming a write-off as a business bad debt. I cannot provide specific tax advice, but I can help you understand the relevant policies and that? procedures and clarify some oh, key points. Thank you. Key considerations. There Unrealized key. revenue versus loss. Unrealized revenue refers to potential income that hasn't yet materialized, while a loss ah, implies a realized decline the in value. Method. Cryptocurrency prices fluctuate, so classifying a current decline as a loss requires specific criteria. Okay. Business bad debt versus capital loss. Business okay. bad debts are deductible against ordinary income, while capital losses are subject to different limitations. But are not capital Determining losses. whether your research and development expenses qualify as a business bad debt depends on how they were incurred and whether they meet the IRS research definition of a bona fide debt arising from your trade or business. Okay. Substantiation and documentation. The burden of proof rests on you to substantiate the loss of bad debt. I gotta document claim. it? This may okay. involve detailed records of your research and development activities, right documentation here? of the decline in value, and really? evidence of efforts to recoup the investment. Oh, I got Possible that! Possible forms. Form 1040, Schedule C. If you claim the loss or bad debt as part now, of your I'm business income... I'm going to stop him for a second, uh -uh, because see, right here, I want to teach y'all something. Y'all need to know this. See what I'm about to do right here? Well, we're not going to double check the response. We're going to modify the response, okay? I want it more professional. Okay, because use important and, and, and use, uh-oh, unable to provide. Oh, look at that. Look, he gives me more professional, gives me the same information. You see that right there? Now, we're going to do it one more again. Watch this. Longer. Because I want more details. 
Whew. And because he went on to a different tirade, and I didn't ask him for that. Unveiling the loss, unrealized and realized, and then navigating the terrain. And then, uh, and I didn't say nothing about capital loss. So what we're going to do, I'm going to keep this. I'll, I'll send you guys this. I'll put the link for this underneath the video. You're just going to have to copy the link and paste it into a browser. Wake up. Thank you for that information, comma, but I'm specifically talking about business bad debt, comma, no one said anything about capital losses, comma, keep your comments specific to my questions, period. So respond to my question again this time, focusing only on the business bad debt, comma, and the R&D credits. Comma, do not worry about the criteria that it fits under, according to the Internal Revenue Service, comma, because I've already researched that, comma, respond to my question specifically and directly, comma, is that understood? Question mark. So please re-answer the question under these criteria. Stop listening. Sorry, there was a, a clarification because he, he was on stupid and I can't have him being stupid. Okay? Can't, cannot have him being stupid. So I'm going to have to turn down Jeffrey so that you guys can uh, concentrate on this moron and then we're going to let y'all go. I understand and apologize for straying from your specific question in my previous response. Let's focus solely on the potential for claiming a business bad debt write-off and R&D credit related to your US$560,000 unrealized investment revenue due to cryptocurrency R&D. Business bad debt deduction. While claiming a business bad debt deduction for unrealized losses might be tempting, it's crucial to understand the complexities involved. The IRS requires significant evidence to validate your claim, particularly regarding direct connection to trade or business. The debt must be demonstrably connected to your ongoing cryptocurrency R&D activities, not merely investments. This means maintaining detailed records of specific... Hold on. Give me a second. Wake up. Wake up. There you go straying again. Comma, the fact that I said that it was business-related, comma, means that that matter has already been ascertained, exclamation mark. I have documentation, so you will answer my question again without giving your opinion. I didn't ask you for other considerations, did I? Question mark. Straying. Stop listening. <coughs> okay, now we gonna get. This is how you get to act right with him. Okay, nobody asked him about all that other junk, that however stuff, and he does that. See this remember stuff. He does that junk all the time. I don't, I didn't ask him for that. So you gonna answer my question my way, because he likes it my way. She does it her way. My apologies for straying from your question oh, previously. I understand you're interested in the specific process of claiming your US$560,000 unrealized investment revenue as a business bad debt and obtaining an R&D credit related to crypto so focus. expenses. Focusing solely on these aspects. Claiming business bad debt. 1. Identify the debtor. Clearly define the entity or individual incurring the bad debt due to your R&D activities. 2. Document the debt. Provide proof of the debt's origin, including loan agreements, invoices, or other financial records. 3. Demonstrate worthlessness.
prove the debt's complete worthlessness with no reasonable chance of recovery. This may involve documented collection attempts, independent valuations, and justification for considering the debt okay. incollectible. He's straying Four, again. Timing of write off. Oh, let me show Determine you. Determine the year in which the debt became definitively worthless. I as didn't you ask him for all of that. Debts in the year they become incollectible. Five tax forms. Typically, okay, I didn't ask him within your business about income, all of that. Expenses on form ten. Shut up. Now watch this. Just we got to go through this. Y'all can get a copy of the whole conversation so y'all can go and read it when you feel like it. But we ain't gonna go through all of that. Whew. Now look at that. However. Genuine debt to related to worthless. Uh, no, he did it again. So he strays. He can't help it. Get rid of that. Get rid of this and do that. He strays. See, we've been going through this a lot. Okay. Now, however, see that however? And then he does that genuine. Nobody asked you about genuine. Okay. Nobody asked you about genuine. Because he, he's stupid, y'all. So give me a second, y'all. I got to go. I'm cooking food. Give me one second. Now, he actually did it without me having to do it three and four times while I had you guys. From the moment I put you guys on pause, he did it. So listen. I understand your request for information about the process of claiming a potential business bad debt write-off and R&D credit related to your US$560,000 unrealized investment revenue from cryptocurrency R&D, focusing on policies and procedures rather than specific tax advice. Claiming business bad debt, why it might be possible, direct connection to trade or business, if your R&D activities are demonstrably connected to your ongoing cryptocurrency activities. The unrealized losses may be considered business bad debts, offering a... Now, you see how he says demonstrably? Well, if I can demonstrate that it was connected to business activities, then it is business bad debt. Not that it may be. It is business bad debt. Offering a more favorable tax deduction than capital losses. Okay, because I don't want capital losses. I didn't lose capital. Okay, this was research and development investment that I lost and unrealized profits that were promised. A more favorable tax deduction than capital losses. Worthlessness of debt. You must prove the debt's complete worthlessness with no... Excuse me. You can't access it. Okay. Been more than six months. All right, let's go Foreseeable possibility of recovery. This likely requires documented collection attempts, independent valuations, and justification for considering the debt incollectible. It doesn't How to achieve require it. independent One, valuation. Identify the debtor. Clearly define the entity or I individual can incurring identify the, the debtor. debt due to your R&D efforts. Okay. Two, document the debt. Provide oh, proof of the debt's that. origin, mm -hmm. including loan agreements, invoices, and or financial records. And and timing of the write-off. Three, and demonstrate tax forms. Worthless. Now, it says Schedule C on Form 1040. Or Schedule C with Form 1041, ladies and gentlemen, because 1040 is for persons. He knows that, 1041, and so on and so forth. All right. Then we have important notes. The complex process requiring thorough documentation and careful and blah, 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 incorrectly claiming blood debt can attract penalty. Can, can, can. Okay, blah, blah, blah. R&D credits. Why it might be possible. Domestically conducted R&D may qualify as R&D credits if the R&D activities were conducted within the United States. Okay, qualified research activities. The R&D activities must fall under the IRS definition of qualified research activities, which may not directly encompass cryptocurrency investment. No, we were in not doing cryptocurrency investment. We were looking to see if we were interested in getting into cryptocurrency. Okay, and let's see. Important notes, claiming R&D credit, cryptocurrency-related activities may face increased scrutiny by the IRS. I don't care. All right, then he gives us this claim. So now, there you guys have it. So, many of you have write-offs that you've never done before and that you're going to be doing this year for the first time. Because you can. All of those expenses, especially if you're doing under the sole proprietorship, Schedule C, you have to talk to your agent, but business losses are business losses. 
So recoup some of that junk that you've been paying that you weren't required to pay. All right. Now I got to let you guys go because I got food cooking and I got to eat my it. Well, it's actually a noodle soup, vegetable noodle soup, not chicken noodle. Well, technically it's got chicken broth, but not chicken noodle, but it's vegetable noodle soup. And I am going to enjoy it. So have a good day, everybody. I got work to do. See y'all later.